Today, we'll teach you how to protect your surfaces with Tenon Ultimate Barrier. This video will focus on using Ultimate Barrier as a sealer on existing concrete, although it can be used as a sealing and curing agent on freshly placed concrete. Tenon Ultimate Barrier is designed to be a single application mixture for curing, sealing, and weatherproofing. It forms a membrane film on concrete to seal and retain hydration water for curing. It is suitable for use to cure, protect, and seal new concrete, or fully cured existing concrete, architectural concrete, and other cementitious materials. It protects against moisture, salt, oil, and chemical penetration, and also helps to protect against smalling, freeze damage, and rebar corrosion, which moisture can cause. Before application, remove all loose or unsound materials. Thoroughly clean the surface before using. Do not apply when rain is expected within four to six hours of application. All pressure wash substrates must dry for a minimum of seven days before the application. Protect and cover any sensitive landscaping, vegetation, or other items and areas necessary to prevent the sealer from coming into contact with it. Gently stir Tenon Ultimate Barrier to blend before use and pour a small amount of product into a tub. Soak your nap roller in a mixture to help avoid streaking. Pour the remaining mixture into a low pressure sprayer. Finally, begin applying. For best results, apply uniformly back and forth at the specified rate of coverage. Maintain a wet edge when spraying and rolling as best as possible. Avoid heavy accumulation and make sure to roll out any pooling material with your roller. A second coat may be applied on very porous surfaces with rapid absorption. Allow the product to become tack-free between coats. It will be best to apply only light pressure to the roller on the surface. Do not push too hard, as this will create an uneven application. Clean tools and sprayer with tenon xylene and dispose of accordingly, complying with applicable environmental regulations and ordinances. Allow the sealer to dry for at least 24 hours before allowing foot traffic in the area. Thanks for watching and we'll TCC you next time.